going to ECNA. The signposts are going to say ECNA or the Saggy ECNA. Don't worry, they're going to the same place. What I'm about to say is things that I've been told by my Greek Cypriot friends who's been told by their parents or their grandparents, people who have were there when the invasion happened. I've also done my own research, but I just, I want everyone to know that the last thing I want to do is offend anybody. And I just think it's really important that the, the story of the Saki Akhma is told. Now, the original Akhma is actually slightly north of this village. It's in a place that is kind of known as no man's land, and it's where the UN is. You literally cannot visit the village from either side of the Green Line. But you can see the village quite clearly from the main road into Akhna and also from the Dasahi Akhna Stadium. So what I've been told, the original Akhna residents actually heard the Turkish army coming towards them and grabbed as much as they could and then headed slightly south towards Dasaki Akhna. Now Dasaki Akhna actually means the forest of Akhna and this land was being used by the British Army. There were already thousands of Greek Cypriot refugees there and they pretty much felt that if they made it to the forest they would be safe and as it so happens they were safe. The thing is a lot of Cypriots thought this invasion was just going to be short-lived so when they left their homes they didn't take a lot with them. And unfortunately, even now, most of them have still not been able to go back to their homes. And it's coming up to 50 years now, so that's just quite hard to comprehend. So basically, what ended up happening is thousands of refugees ended up having to live in the forest of Akhna with whatever they took from their homes. Most of them ended up having to sleep on the cold floor, some trying to grab some sort of material just to make any type of shelter. Eventually, they did receive tents. Now, I don't know where the tents came from. I don't know whether they came from the Cypriot government. I don't know if they came from the Greek government or another country. I don't know. But basically, Akhna became a village of tents. They would have tents for their home. They would have tents for their schools. They even had a huge tent for their church. After a long time, the residents of Akhna started to rebuild their village, but this time in Dasaki Akhna, the forest of Akhna. Personally, I cannot comprehend how it must have felt to be able to see your home but never be able to return to it, and instead be told that you have to build a new home from scratch. Now, one of my friends, who was born after the war, said that something that really makes him sad is the fact that he can see the big old church in the abandoned village and he knows for a fact that his great grandparents are there but he will never be able to visit their graves or or even go and see where his parents grew up and and it, it's little stories like this that make me really feel sorry for the people of Akhna but also really respect them because I mean when you really think about it these people hit rock bottom and they just stood up dusted the dirt off and created a new life and and created a new village and this village is something that you, they should really be proud of so there you have it the history of Akhna and oh I really 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 hope I've done it justice because these people they really do deserve it we love this church because it's so different it looks like a tent this is to symbolize what the refugees of the Saki Akna had to live in for many years. So this statue is to represent all the, the parents, the sisters, the brothers that have lost a member of the family during the war, which is why they're in harm. They're holding the photo or the picture of their loved one that's lost, but due to their loved one being missing, it's like a part of them is missing as well. I remember actually seeing the statue when I first arrived in Cyprus before having children. And I, I remember looking at it going, oh, that's really nice. But now 
that I have children, the thought of them going off to war and me just never seeing them again, it just takes on a whole new meaning. I just think it's pretty, uh, it's a very well thought out statue. church inside the Natsai is a great symbol of what the Akhna refugees had to experience. Daddy needs to do it, otherwise he would die from the lava. It's my way to make it, isn't it? <laughs> Jensen, have you literally looked under your feet? What? Have a look under your feet. <laughs> so right now, uh, Stephen's on the hunt for asparagus. I don't know whether he knows what he's looking for, he's just looking for green things. And frankly, it's making this trek a lot longer than it really needs to be. But hopefully he'll find asparagus soon. He'll be happy and then we can carry on. Are you sure this is asparagus? Are you sure it's not just the green thing? Branch. Yeah. How do you feel? Amazing. <laughs> it's been a My good My life is complete. <laughs> uh, so we were so excited about the asparagus that uh, we've just realised we've lost our boys. Um, I think they've followed the goats. And um, so I'm slightly stuck because Stephen's wanting the asparagus and my boys are wanting the goats and I just frankly want to finish this track so um hopefully I'll come no I can't even hear them okay I'm, I'm gonna my priorities are the boys so I'm gonna find my children tell me what happened we touched I touched the lead bin and did some chips chips Sheeps. I think they're goats. <laughs> Sheep and were goats. Oh, were they both? Okay. What did you hear? <laughs> Loads of it down here. Loads of them all. Oh, no, no, no. Like this wild as
so many animals. This place is so much fun. If you get hungry, there's a restaurant there. It has lovely views of Akna Dam. This is the end of the Akna adventure. Um, my favourite part is the donkey park. My favourite is like touching the donkeys. And uh, chicken. And chicken slap my hand <laughs> when and I the chicken hit my foot. <laughs> Okay, and what was and your favourite? Oh. the donkey. Okay, and what was your favourite part? Uh, my favourite part was that um, the place where we were eating donkeys, what my brother's name. And just quickly, did you know you just said the places we were eating the donkeys? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, um, I mean, we're giving them hay. And also the park I like, the, the flying fox, uh, which is close to us. Um, and the other part is people. There was a green car I like, uh, which was, I could say, it's black and green. It's black and green, it was my favorite car. If you see it in the video, there was uh, a green car. Okay. And it was it was uh, pretty good. Cool. Um, and car. what else do you like? The place in Akma where there was a church that was made of concrete, which was a tent. Um, and That was quite cool, yeah? Yeah, that was quite cool. If you like this video, clip a thumbs up and also subscribe Very and good. eat some donkeys. No, we're not eating any donkeys. <laughs> Alright, that was a joke. Okay. Hit that oh, like, like button. 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 <laughs> hit like, hit like. Hit that like button. Very good. To go down or up. No, we don't want them to go down. Oh, oh down's not good. No, just but it doesn't matter if it goes down. I'm not. Um, I don't know if it. If we it can't goes. please everyone, can we? Yeah, of course. We we don't have to. We don't have to like order them. You know. Tell them what to do. Yeah, they, whatever they want. If it's like or but we would like uh, a lot of likes though. <laughs> We'd like a lot of likes. Right. So say, so see you next time. See you next time. Bye. Say bye. This is my hand. Bye.